Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. It's Monday. That's all I got today. That is really all I got, y'all. And that's no joke. My hair look crazy. <laughs> um, I washed it yesterday, deep conditioned it. And I just feel like pulling it back in the ponytail again. <sighs> my dog on fingernails keep getting caught in my hair. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just haven't pulled it back, brushed it or anything yet. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm out here today. I don't even feel like doing nothing today. Like, what you see today is what you get. Actually, what you see every day is what you get. Seriously, because <laughs> it's tra it's definitely growing more. It's a little drawn up, but it's definitely drawn, getting longer. You know, I'm just. Uh, don't feel like doing nothing with it. I really don't. Oh, of course my eyes are bothering me. Anyway, good morning to you guys. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I didn't go to church this weekend. I think I explained that already in the last video. You know. Um. So guys. I did a video yesterday, I believe, and I think once I got through talking to you guys, um, I made dinner, which was macaroni and cheese and fish, and then I took a long hot bath, I, oh, my head, my eye, washed and deep conditioned my hair, um, and then I sat here, and I played Zuma for a while. And then, before I knew it, the, the sun had gone down. And I was sitting here thinking, oh my God, like, tomorrow's Monday. <laughs> I kind of was already dreading it, you know. Like, why well, I can't have one more day to just do nothing, you know. Um, but it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Um, I had a weird dream. And actually, even though I had been up throughout the night off and on, because uh, yesterday I did drink that uh, detox tea, and it kicked in about 12, um, so I've been up off and on ever since. I tried to lay down knowing that it would kick in, so I felt like, okay, let me sleep now, but I wasn't sleepy because I had slept earlier, um, so I wasn't really sleepy. So, I watched a little television. I don't even remember what I watched, to be honest. Um, and then I played Zumba Revenge, like I said. And then I laid down. Um, I laid down listening to Joyce Myers. There were quite a few different, you know, episodes or segments that I listened to. I think all of them I had heard before, which was fine. Um, and, like I said, then that's when I would fall asleep, wake up, fall asleep. Um... But I woke up at 6.25, and the dream that I had woke me up, and I was up ever since. Um, I got up, and I said my prayers. Um, I really haven't said any prayers in regards to the dream that I had. Um, I'm just going to trust God. One thing I listened to with Joyce yesterday was she was saying, you have control over how you wake up and what you do in the morning. You know, if you wake up down or sad, take control of it. Um, and sometimes that's easier said than done. Um, but today, I was like, mm, I'm going to take control of it. You know, I'm not going to be down or I'm not going to, you know, let the dream that I had bother me or get to me. Um, I did one dream I had, I did text my son about it, um, and not the dream in particular, but just certain situations, certain things, you know, like I told him, just continue to trust God, believe in God, continue to move forward, don't look backwards, only look backwards long enough to remember what not to do, you know, or where you came from, um, so I texted him some stuff yesterday, I think it was, but today, nothing yet. I'm just going to trust God and pray because, you know, sometimes we have dreams. They're not always from God. You know what I'm saying? Um, devil knows what's going on too. You know, and so he can 
play with your emotions and, and whatnot as well. Um, so, <sighs> sorry guys, I'm a bit sleepy. Um, well, a lot sleepy actually. I have coffee on right now. I'll, be, I'll go and get that in a moment, make that in a moment. But, yeah, so I woke up from the dream and it was so weird because it had to do with um, the property manager who I have not yet met. So, in my dream, for some reason, we were at my mom's, but it didn't look like her house, her current house. It looked more like Hira on the top floor a little bit. I'm not sure, but it was just, it was really nice. It was all white, open, and airy. I don't know what was going on in the dream, but we were leaving. I don't know what was going the situation was, but we were leaving. And she was talking to somebody. I don't know who it was, but it was like whoever she was speaking with, um, she didn't want that person to know that we were there. And since we were in the process of leaving anyway, it was like, okay, let's just hurry out. And so as we get downstairs, it was hard to exit because there was some sort of construction or something all of a sudden that was going on. And the front was blocked and the back was blocked. And there was stuff everywhere. And I was like, excuse me, but how do you expect people to get in and out if you're going to block both exits and entrances? Like, wouldn't it make sense to leave one open so people can come and go, work on the other, and then when you're done with that, then block the other one and leave the other one open? Like, it only makes sense. So they were moving, they were working to move stuff so the people can get in and out. And in the meantime, my youngest son was doing this, he was pointing to me, because he's met the building manager in real life, I have not. So he knew what he looks like, so he was pointing to me like, that's him, that's him. So then I goes over to introduce myself and talk to him, and it was so funny because in my dream, this guy that I've never met, looked like he was a pimp or something, you know, he had that that mentality that the way he carried himself now you never judge a book by his cover because even though that's how he looked does not mean that's how he is until he spoke <laughs> until he started to speak and it was like oh what am I dealing with right here you know so I'm talking to this man and it was just the weirdest strangest conversation it was like in order for him to do something for you you had to do something for him type of thing and I was like, oh my God, what is going on? And I woke up. <laughs> oh no, no. In the midst of this conversation, my older son comes over. So I had introduced, because he already knows the younger one. So I introduced the oldest one to him. And we were all talking and stuff. And all of a sudden, he had raised up my son's the shirt sleeve and was looking at tattoos and reading and talking about the tattoos. And it's crazy because my son... What I saw in my dream, he does not have any of that on his arm. And I was like, what in the world? <laughs> it was the craziest thing. Then I woke up. And I'm like, Whew. I'm like, that's weird. So anyway, I did say my prayers this morning. I hope you guys did the same. As always, not just for our sales and loved ones, but for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm not going to be very, very long with this video this morning. Um, it is now 7.08. Um, so I'm going to end it here. I'm sure I'll talk to you guys throughout the day. I'm going to go ahead and go and make my coffee for this morning. Um, part of me wants to go and pull my hair back properly. But I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, as a matter of fact, I think I may just go put my bonnet on. Actually, I'm not. I'm just going to let it breathe. I, I'm not, not going to worry about it. Um, I just don't feel like it, you know. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee. I have some whipped cream left. But, oh, I have the regular, the powder creamer, which is not the same as the liquor cream, creamer. But that's okay. We're going to work with what we got, right? No complaining. No complaints. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to make that. I still have the hazelnut. No, the hazelnut syrup <laughs> that I'll pour a little of that in there as well and I think that's all I'm going to have today uh, will be the coffee and of course drinking water um, if I get hungry uh, I may just make myself a salad today 
um, I was thinking about a wrap. <sighs> Maybe I'll make a wrap. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to limit my meals and how much I eat and what I eat. Um, I am so sleepy, guys. I'm talking to y'all. My eyes are closed right now. Well, I just opened them, but oh my god, I'm so sleepy. I really am. <laughs> I apologize um but yeah anyway uh guys I was asked a question um somebody wanted to send something to me um I don't know how the YouTube thing goes or anything like that I don't even have a whole lot of subscribers followers likes or any of that or views for that matter but it's okay if you guys ever decide you want to send something just cash app um you can if you know me Text me, email me, and I'll send you the info. If you know anybody that I know, my kids, same thing. Text them, whatever. They can give you the information. Um, I don't have a P.O. box or nothing like that to send things, but it's cool. Um, all in due time. All in due time. Uh, in the meantime, I put that out there because um, I was always told don't get in the way of God's blessings. You know, if somebody want to do something for you, honestly, uh, from the heart, um, then let them do it. You know what I'm saying? And be grateful for it and thankful. Um, and I have no problem with that. I used to in the past, um, but, you know, God comes and helps and moves in mysterious ways. And we can't keep getting in His way and then expecting help. Or expecting guidance, expecting forgiveness, expecting this, that, and the other. If you're constantly getting away in the way of 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 his blessings, um, so anyway, having said that, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and exit here, get my coffee together, as I've said about three times now, and then talk to you guys maybe later on in the, uh, throughout the day. Um, enjoy your morning. Have an amazing Monday morning. Uh, remember to treat people the way you would expect to be treated until later bye now hey guys i'm back my coffee's done i have the roast blend um i have two cups of the not two cups two topfuls of the hazelnut syrup i have two tablespoons of sugar um and creamer and of course my whipped cream whipped cream yeah it's so funny I almost messed up <laughs> I went to pour more sugar in the container um out of the sugar bag and I looked at the sugar but I grabbed the flour thank god I looked again because I was <laughs> about to pour the flour over in in the uh, uh container and lord knows I wouldn't have wanted to deal with that mess this morning so thank god I looked again Ooh, super hot this morning. Super hot, super hot. Super, super hot. Yeah, good thing I looked this morning. Uh, double look because that wouldn't have been nice. <laughs> that wouldn't have been nice at all. It's been times when I accidentally put the grinds over in my cup. You knew why. Um, just not paying attention or in a hurry or whatever. Um... Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit later in the day. So, guys, here's the tree. That's knocked down. But, remember I was telling y'all about how beautiful this house is? Look how beautiful that porch is. Can y'all see that? So beautiful. That is so... I absolutely love that porch. But I'm on my way out. Pick up Lavelle by eight, and then get back here to start work at. Well, to log into everything by about eight fifteen. Um, and then start work at eight thirty. I thought, let me check. The mail right quick. I didn't check it yesterday. Sorry about that, guys. <coughs> oh, look at this crap, y'all. 
Somebody had an accident. Look at the car. Y'all see it? In the grass. Car in the grass. Crazy. Anyway, it's always something. Front end of that house. Isn't that beautiful? This is the house right next door to me. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I totally love what they're doing with this. I don't know if it's an apartment. They're making it into an apartment or a whole house, but it is beautiful. And that's the car, y'all, on the sidewalk. And that's normally where I park, right there. Hey, guys. Happy, thankful Taco Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Hey, ho, it's Tuesday. <coughs> How you guys doing this morning? I hope you're having a beautiful uh, morning. I'm tired. <laughs> I've been up since throughout the night, but actually physically, physically, I've been up since 5:30. I got up, started cleaning, uh, made my coffee, and yeah, I sat down to start talking to you guys at. six o'clock <laughs> I recorded about three videos and I've deleted all three I even talked to you guys yesterday afternoon I deleted that I was so tired yesterday was so freaking busy so on my lunch break um, I took a nap and I tried to talk to you guys two minutes you know but I was just out of it um, so I deleted that and then I've been talking to you all morning but I had to delete that because my phone kept ringing and beeping and uh, and then I was off topic multiple times <laughs> so yeah it is uh, right now 651 so um, I have to get Lavelle at 8 um, yeah so I think maybe I'll just uh, watch television until then I may even take a quick nap not sure but um, it's Tuesday y'all um, hope you're having a wonderful morning and um, remember to say your prayers for everyone and just treat people the way you would expect to be treated this morning, okay? Um, I will talk to you guys throughout the day, so um, just enjoy the day, okay? Enjoy the day. Um, yeah, talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, it is 10.30. Uh, first break of the day, 10.35. Sun ain't a joke. Jesus. It's quite bright. Ooh. <laughs> That's better. Ooh, that sun is, is bright. Uh, just thought I would check in up with you guys. See how your morning's going so far. It's busy. I have such a headache, y'all. It is very busy. The calls are back to back. Um, I did go get Lavelle. He's gone. He went for a uh, job interview. Um, I felt like I painted my nails again. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, God. I took out meat today. I think um, we're going to do tacos for Taco Tuesday. Um, but, yeah, guys. I'm just... Um, I'm tired. <laughs> I really am. Um, I'm hoping this work part of the day goes by quick, guys. I really am. I'm hoping these calls slow down a bit. Well, not even a bit, but a lot. Uh, I really am because just mentally I'm not there today. I'm not complaining, though. Um... But yeah, I do have a lot on my mind, a lot on my mind, a lot on my mind. Um, but anyway, guys, yeah, I'm not going to hold you because um, I've already been, when I uh, uh, signed off for break, um, I went to check that car, that accident I was telling you about, I showed you guys this morning, it's gone. Uh, so either the, the owner came and got it, or somebody came and got it, but the bad boy gone. Definitely wasn't no tow truck. Um, somebody came and got it. Um, hopefully, you know, no one was injured. Um, and it's so crazy because 
I did. I was laying here yesterday and I heard a loud, you know, like a, a boom, a rumble. And like I said, and I just thought it was maybe the neighbors, you know, you know, because uh, I didn't hear a crash, but that could be too, you know, I had the fan going and the air and the TV was on. So, of course, I didn't hear it, hear it. Um, just, you know, like a boom and, and like a shake and that was it. Um, but hopefully no one's injured. Um, if so, I pray my heart goes out because we don't know what happened. You don't know. Unless you've seen it was there with, you know, yourself. You don't know. Oh, sorry, guys. I have the hiccups. Like, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to be long. Just wanted to check, see how you guys' are. early morning is going. I uh, wish you guys a wonderful Tuesday morning. Um, and, yeah, that's it. Don't have much to talk about today. Um, just like I said, a lot on this man of man. Man of man. Okay, a lot going on in this head of mine. How about that? That sounds better. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back on, log back in. And um, I'm trying to pick up on that story that I started to write. Um, I'm going to see if I can finish another page or two. Um, so I'm just going to tackle it a little bit by little bit um, as, you know, ideas come to me, okay? Um, I still have not, you know, remembered anything about the first story that I wrote. And I still have not been able to get into that disc yet. Um, working on that. Um, so, yeah, um, until that's done, um, I'm definitely going to go ahead and try working on this new story. And hopefully I'll be able to share some more of it with you guys, okay? If not today, tomorrow. So, anyway, I'll talk to you later. Um, on my, It probably won't be on my lunch break. I think on my lunch break again, I'm going to just take a quick nap. So, um, I'll probably talk to you guys later on this tonight. Bye now.